This video is to show you how to sync a Polar H7 or H10 heart rate sensor with your Apple II watch. About a week ago, I bought the H10 not knowing whether or not I could sync it directly to my watch and it turns out you absolutely can. Without any sort of app or syncing it to your phone, just directly with the Apple Watch Series 2. So what you need to do first is plug this sensor directly onto the chest strap. Now I want to show you also if you plug in, I'm going to do this with H7 the first thing you want to make sure you do not do is you do not sync this with your phone because once you do you will not see it on the actual watch itself. I'll show you what I mean. If we go to my settings on my phone here to Bluetooth and I'm going to grab this right here so that it gets a reading from my hand. And we have the H7. Now I'm going to sync that, and I'll show you that on the watch, it won't be available to be synced. Go into the settings. Bluetooth. And searching for devices. Now this H7 is not showing up where it did on my phone, but if I grab this right here, put that in view so you can see it sideways. The Polar H10 is showing up. And that's all you have to do. It's as simple as that. Now if you're using an H7 sensor, you do the exact same thing we just did with the H10, except you don't sync it with the phone, because it won't be visible on your watch once it's synced with another device. So you may be wondering why you would want to even use a strap like this when the Apple II watch has a heart rate sensor built into it. The reason is, during the workout, the Apple II watch sensor for the heart rate only activates every 15 seconds to save battery life. And because of that, if we go into my activity app right here, you get a general idea of where your heart rate is if going on my workouts, but you don't have really an accurate depiction at all. If you're doing high intensity interval training or anything like that, you could be in your heart rate zone you want to aim for and then be out of it in less than 15 seconds. So you go in your zone, you get out, and your watch will never have registered that you even were in it. So that is one of the reasons why you may want to do this. If you haven't felt the need to do this, then I wouldn't bother. But I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that have felt the need. And those are the type of people who want to do this, the type of people who are monitoring their heart rate very accurately. Now, I'll show you an example. I did cycling back on October 27th, Friday. And if we look down here, directly at the heart rate, I'll bring it in a little bit. I don't want it to get out of focus, but so you can see a little better. In this area right here, the heart rate is all over the place. You really don't have any accurate idea of where your heart is at this point at all. Some of that may have to do with the moving around when I was doing the cycling, but I have noticed this on all different type of workouts that I do. Now, when I use the strap, this is the difference right here. I did this earlier today. Look at how smooth that line is right there. That's an accurate depiction of exactly where your heart rate is, and it's continuous. It's not discrete. Now, I also have another app that I actually recommend. I don't get paid by anybody. I'm just doing this on my own. I found this app to work really well. It's Fit IV Pulse. And this gives you a really nice depiction of your heart rate, the zones. And for people who want to try to say up in this area or in this area or even higher, you definitely want to get a better reading of your heart rate. So that's why you would want to do this with a heart rate strap. It works beautifully. And I'm actually going to put on the H10 right now and show you how it registers instantaneously. Okay, so now that I have the heart rate sensor on, all you do is just go into activity like you normally would and work out. And it's going to pick up the heart rate. 81, 80. There it goes. Instantaneous change in heart rate. And that is what you want to strive for. So if you're doing high intensity interval training, things of that nature, I mean, it, it's a game changer right there, having that heart rate monitor. And as I said in the beginning, all you had to do is sync it directly with your watch. And that's it. Just work out like you normally would. Last thing I want to show you is a recommendation that I saw if you're worried about battery life. Some people recommend that you turn off the sensor on the watch, which I didn't bother doing because I had no problem whatsoever with my battery. But if you're interested in learning how to do that, I'll show you real quick. 
last part of the video. Go into the watch settings and we go down to the bottom where the workout app is and right here we have power saving mode select that and that's it to save battery life so I hope you found that helpful like I said H7 is done the exact same way all you need to do is plug in the sensor go in your settings under Bluetooth and sync it with your watch and work out like you normally would and you get a much much nicer reading so I hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more